ain't been switch. broke in a minute. Nah, nah, I tryna run these digits. Nah, nah, Put my little bro on the pin. Nah, we hop out the car with extensions. Nah, these niggas be pistols, they switchin'. Nah, 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 Playin' with bro, then you go on the mission. Me and my niggas, we all on the mission. Focus on money, ain't worry about bitches. Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Vel, and we're back with another Mobile Legends video. And this one, we're going to be checking out Moba Zane's take on Mobile Legends coming to China. Now, this is actually big, yo. This is major news. Um, I remember like years ago, it's been so long now. Like, I remember playing Honor of Kings, like Honor of Kings, and I remember watching some of the pros who played Honor of Kings and stuff like that, and how dope they were at the game. And China, like, bro, like. This, this is a way of life in Asia, man. This is a way of life in China for sure. Now, don't get it twisted. Like, like the Philippines, like, y'all y'all go crazy in the Philippines. Y'all go crazy in Indonesia, India. Like, everybody is nice at the game, but I feel like China's going to be nice, nice. I feel like they're going to be some real contenders in this game for sure. It's going to be interesting to see um, if they actually have some type of event where they'll be able to compete against people in North America and people in, you know, the Philippines. Like, I actually want to see what China can do in this game because I feel like I feel like China's going to come through and, like, do big things. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. Y'all think China got it? Do y'all watch any esports that actually has China and the Philippines and stuff like that? And how does the players actually compare up to one another when they face off? Let me know. Like, I'm sure y'all probably play, watch some games or something that actually has esports where th these two, you know, these two clash. So let me know. Let me know how that usually goes. But... Anyway, let's let's check out Zane's opinion. Let's hear some of his thoughts on it. If you're new to the channel, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Also, in the comment section down below, recommend me some stuff to check out. I'm trying to get back into Mobile Legends, learn what's going on, understand everything. You know, you know that's been happening. I've took like a year off, you know. So yeah, we back. We finna see what's happening, man. Let's get into it. Think China can compete? Yeah, probably. Esports is so big in that country, man. Esports is so big in that country. You know what I mean? It's a big ass country with a big ass esports scene. Let that combine, you know. China. And and this, I feel like because it's so big and, and and because esports is so big and so many people are trying to make that a career. Like if you actually get to the point where you're a pro in that country, I feel like you gotta be nice. It's just so much competition to go through. Like in, in America. It's like America is so many players that ain't good at Mobile Legends. It's like you can be a pro at pro level from America without having to actually be too great. Like Zane is an anomaly. You know, Zane is definitely an anomaly. The whole BTK squad, they're anomaly when it comes down to how good they actually are. But like I, I haven't seen too many crazy, crazy squads in, in North America like that. Like obviously there are there's some like they stay low key. They don't really care about being famous or nothing. They, they don't need at least they don't attempt to be famous from from my understanding. But yeah, it's like it's just not it's a it's a handful. It's a handful. Like these like BTK and stuff, they go against a, a couple of teams in North America where it's actually a struggle. That that's it, that's it. And I don't even know if it it would be called a struggle. It's like where these guys are actually competing at that type of level. So I know like I don't know, man. I, I feel like I just got a lot of respect for China, obviously. I got a, respect, I got a lot of respect for everybody, but I feel like China's a different beast, man. It's a different beast. China and Europe? Yeah, but Europe, I guess, not too much for uh, ML, huh? It's like a year for them to get uh, very competitive. The whole I feel like Europe is in the same boat as North America. Like, Europe is like, you know, the Philippines, like, Asia. Like, y'all y'all are crazy out here. Y'all like, are crazy nice at games. Like, this is what I mean. Y'all take it serious. It's like everywhere else, like... You know, it's kind of so-so, but I feel like it's, it's like more so of a way of life in Asia. And yeah, like, mm. Countries just, you know, a lot of esports scenes. Also, my hair is getting so long. Finally, Bob from China can play. My hair getting long too. I mean, I, I ain't gonna show y'all, but it's my, my, like it's there. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all don't need to see that. Though. It's ML. I know he's been waiting for a while. Bob from China's been waiting on it. Gets his wish now. I mean, how would you even see the Chinese players, though? Could you even, like... Like, if me or you guys wanted to view so how, like, Chinese are playing... My own how I know they do it in Fortnite. They find a way to do it in Fortnite. I feel like they're, they're gonna they're gonna do it. But also, I heard that... I, I think I saw that they're not gonna have the same name as Mobile Legends. Mobile Legends is gonna be in China, but it's gonna be under a different name in China. So... That that's kind of weird, but I I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure it'll be uploaded somewhere to YouTube. Like there's gonna be some plug channel that's showing off the China players and stuff like that. So it's gonna be interesting. Like I 
I actually want to see some of the like tougher, tougher heroes to use like Fanny and stuff. Like I want to see what what a Chinese person is gonna come out here and do with Fanny. Like I feel like they're gonna do something crazy. They're gonna be like noob queen or something like that. I don't know, man. I feel like, and, and that's the thing. You got these players from the Philippines that's so legendary. Or and, and Endo, like you got certain players that's just like just no limit from Endo. Like you got so certain players that's just so legendary for doing certain things. I feel like it's gonna like in China. I feel like it's gonna be a lot of players doing this. Like like that that become legendary for this for certain things. You know, like I don't I don't feel like it's just gonna be one or two players known from a country for doing something. I feel like it's gonna be a lot of players. It's gonna be like 10, 15, 20 players who all look like noob queen, maybe. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm tripping. Like let me know if I'm tripping. Y'all don't think they that good in China? Let me know. How how would we? They stream on their own sites. They don't have Google, they don't have YouTube. How would you even watch their streams? I don't even think Somebody the game's out know. yet. I just think it's announced that it's gonna be out soon. Yeah. They block it. So how would you even know? The game name is different too? Oh. In-game live? Maybe? But if the game name is different, I don't know about that. Maybe it's literally a whole new app. Maybe it's two different servers. You have a Chinese server and you have an ML and you have a, a non-Chinese server. I don't know. I don't know. We can just watch S Dave. Yeah, he'll find his way. <laughs> he'll find his he I know we know he has connections. Yo, Dave probably would. Like Dave probably gonna take advantage of that. Come through with the Come through with the China gameplay like that. That would be fire. That would be fire to do. Somebody has to do it. That's like a new opportunity in the market. Somebody want to come up in ML? Y'all hear it. This is a problem. Every problem needs a solution. You need somebody out here solving problems. This could be anybody who creates this channel. You want to solve this problem and have an opportunity to become bigger in Mobile Legends and run a bigger channel in Mobile Legends? Here is a problem. Somebody come with a solution. Start the channel. Figure out how to get the content. And boom, there you have it. This is a career opportunity, you know? Like, you got to take advantage of these opportunities. If you have the talent and skills to do this and knowledge of how to do this or you want to learn, like, go for it, Joe. Don't let nothing stop you. Don't let, you know? Don't matter your internet speed, none of that. As long as you work hard, you can make it. Like, just keep working hard, bro. Like, do whatever you want to do. They might actually have their own ML server. To where, like, I literally can't bring my account to China if I ever wanted to. Billy Billy's a streaming platform that can be accessed outside. Ooh. Mm. They have channels here on YouTube. You can watch China esports competition. Okay. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. It's crazy how cut off that country still is from the rest of the world. The government is such a tight bind on everything in and out of the country. China's coming. Wonder what they'll go tank. What do you think China will play as tank, ladies and gentlemen? We gotta go through the hero. Layla. China plays a tank. China, China gonna come through with Layla tank, and is it gonna actually be effective? Like, I feel like they gonna do something weird. I feel like they gonna do something weird, and everybody in ML gonna be like, "Yo, why didn't we think of this?" Like, like I feel like we gonna see some weird stuff coming out of China, but it's probably gonna work. It's gonna be like, dang, if I would have thought about this, like, it's obvious that that worked. You know, I feel like it's gonna be something like that. Jungler. Probably everything actually. China will bring back assassins. Oh, how nice of them to... Oh, well, actually, yeah. It is up to China. That's where the fucking developers are. Yeah, it's where the devs are. It's where the devs are, so it is up to China. I'm waiting, too. I don't want to play these tank losers anymore. And the only assassin really worth shit right now is, like, Fanny. Dang, Fanny's still nice. I mean, how the oh. heck do you stop Fanny? It's like if you a good fanny, how do you stop that? Like it's unstoppable. And then if you if you nerf fanny too much, she's just useless. Like you just gotta let fanny be. You can't do nothing to fanny. Like that's what it is. You can't do nothing. You gotta you gotta leave fanny alone. You're either gonna make fanny completely useless, or a, a good fanny is just gonna always dominate. Like there's no middle ground where okay, this fanny is okay. There there's never gonna be a this fanny is okay. Fanny is such a well put together strong hero that. If you get good with Fanny, you're just going to be unstoppable. Like, it, they can't do anything about that. Like, I feel like Fanny's just going to be Fanny. And I feel like they're going to do some nice stuff with Fanny in, um, in China. Look her face in Chinese version? No, but I heard that it was pretty funny. Something about that. All right, there we have it, Joe. So that was the video. This was interesting. I I, I like um, Zane's take take on it. I feel like China's going to be interesting. Like, y'all y'all know this whole, this whole video was pretty much spent praising China, but you know, I, I'm not really that educated on how good they are. I just know, 
I've been I've seen some some gameplay, some some gameplay from China. I hear everybody talking about it. Like I feel like they, there's some strong players there. I don't know how they compare to the rest of the world. So I guess we're gonna see. This is gonna be the opportunity to see potentially if they can start going up against the rest of the world. But we'll see. Um, let me know what y'all think. Drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out, fam.